What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel now Let's get into this really quickly guys I'm sitting here looking at this article with Eddie Hearn all on the boxing scene and the title says that Wilder missed the boat and may not get a title shot until 2022 now th this is what a lot of uh, Wilder's fans was afraid of uh, because this this might be true the the contract for the the trilogy has expired and we all know Tyson Fury has already said he's moving on from this uh, he's looking to fight have a, a light touch tune-up fight uh, in December I think it's December the 5th and then he's looking to face Anthony Joshua sometime next year uh, for all the titles. Uh, and Eddie Hearn saying here that they may even, you know, fight twice next year. So that's going to freeze Wilder out, and he might not get another, might not get another shot to 2022. So uh, I got to say, man, Wilder's team, man, they they blew it for him. Uh, my opinion, of course, man, I, how could they let this slip through their fingers? Uh, you know that fight uh, between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua is going to be huge over in the UK. And, and that's what they're pushing for. And Wilder's left out in the cold, holding the bag. You know, it's, I mean, I know the COVID stuff was going on uh, and it, they kept pushing the fight. They kept pushing the date up further and further, and then it expired. And Tyson Fury's playing uh, chess, not checkers. You know, sometimes people aren't going to be a man of, of their word. You know, I know a lot of people saying, well, why isn't he being a man of his word? But here's the thing. This is a huge opportunity for him if he can get Anthony Joshua next year. Uh, this will, if he can get Anthony Joshua, Joshua next year, when that solidifies his legacy, uh, he'll have all the titles at heavyweight. And, and, and that's what Wilder always wanted to do. I mean, he wasn't able to put all the pieces together, you know, because of boxing politics. But Tyson Fury actually has a shot at this. And I don't think he's going to risk it by uh, getting in the ring with Wilder. Uh, for a third time when he doesn't have to when he can take a light touch and go straight to Anthony Joshua I mean that's just you guys know that's just a God honest truth he's not going to take that route uh, if he doesn't have to and now that the contract expired he he doesn't have to and Wilder may be left out in the cold and and, and that's what I'm saying Wilder's team let him down he let him down and uh, they let him down. So we're going to see where this all goes, guys. Uh, this is a, like I said, this is a huge opportunity for Tyson Fury. Uh, Anthony Joshua as well. If he can get past Pulev, because I think he fights in December as well. Uh, huge opportunity for the UK and America's left uh, standing out in the cold, guys. And Wilder still hasn't said anything yet. He hasn't addressed his situation. He hasn't said anything to his fans. And, you know, I see guys constantly defending him on YouTube, but he's he's not even defending himself. So I, I, I just don't know. Hopefully we hear from him, uh, hear his side of the story, uh, so we can have more insight into what's going on, guys. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Wilder may not be able to get another title shot till 2022. Uh, it's a sad day in America uh, for heavyweight boxing, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.